Right, so I'm going to do two sorts of training. One online, if you're on a Mac, you can't uh, use um, the other trainer I use. So I train locally, this is training online. And I think the easiest is Civit AI. There are a lot of them and I think most of them all work the same way. So there's my model, all my files neatly there. And here we go, what we'll do, we'll choose to make a Laura and create. We're going to train Laura. Okay, so it's going to be a style. I'm going to call it swoops. And this is really very simple, but there are a few bits that are a bit tricky. Uh, you have to agree about all this. And then you just drag your images into here. Now, because I'm going to, I'm not going to use a trigger word. I'm going, I'm not going to auto label. I'm not going to do anything like that for a style. It's probably best not. The only time I might caption, we'll hit that in a moment. But for the most part, I'm going to use a single word which is going to be swoops. So it's got a Z on the end, so it's not like, and I literally put that in every one, which is tedious, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the trigger word would just do this, but then I, I use um, something else, need to do something else, which uh, you'll see why. Oh, there's some more up here, I think. Very easy to miss one, which in case it'll whinge. Well, uh, train one locally, I think I might have missed someone too. Yeah, look at that. Don't think I missed any on one. Now this is one um, where I've got a lot of mountains and what I do is add mountains. So what I do is add the thing I don't want it. <laughs> I know it doesn't say, sounds silly, but I found it does help. I don't need to do all of them either. So it'll now concentrate on the thing that's not captioned. Um, so the mountains, it, it's got, it understands mountains. So that'll stop it. Make, it'll prevent it making mountains, putting mountains into everything. So you, and it's the same if you're doing a um, a person. Uh, don't describe the person. Don't describe what they're wearing. Uh, describe the mood of the image and everything but the person. And uh, and I go to lie here. Well, they're mostly freely available ones. I I'm pretty careful about using own images generally. We'll go next and it'll upload all those and really it only it only costs a few dollars to make each one so i just buy buzz up here okay so we've got everything there and we want to choose our model which is going to be flux dev solved image prompts i just don't bother i mean they're automatically set uh, they'll be rubbish i never look at them anyway so here we come to the important bit right so resolution we'll go through the important things first of all uh, you see, we're going to 290 steps. That won't do anything. So we go 1024 to make increase the image size. Now our number of steps, you see, is 290. That is just not enough. So if we do 10 epochs and 12 repeats, that's still not enough. What I'm aiming for here, so we'll go 12 epochs, 16 repeats, getting there. I'm aiming for 3,000. So we'll do 14 epochs. Now that's three, two, four, eight. So I, for a simple one like this, I, I would aim for 3,000. If it's a more difficult one, uh, say a real artist style, I would aim for nearer 6,000 uh, steps. So we've got epochs and number of repeats. And an epoch is once through all the data set and the number of repeats is the time that number of times each image is put through in each epoch. So that gives you your total number of um, of steps. So it doesn't really matter if you have it in two epochs or four epochs and lots of steps, uh, it will uh, it will be fine anyway. Then you leave all this lot alone and you get down here to network dim. This is the uh, rank of the LoRa and it's how big the final file will be and how much detail it will go into. So I like to put this at 16. So this will um, this will give you a fairly, and this one I use Prodigy because it varies the learning rate through the, uh, and this will cost me three thousand buzz, which I say is only a few dollars worth. It's hardly worth bothering about really, you know. and it's going to take four hours and eleven minutes, and I set that off, and if it's all good, hey, so that's the online method if you're on a Mac. Um, and that should give you a pretty good result. And what we'll do next is on PC and for that locally, and we'll use Flux Gym for that. 
So here we are in FluxGym. Uh, to install FluxGym, install Pinocchio and install FluxGym. Uh, it takes a while to install, but that's literally it. Now when you launch it, this is what you see. Um, I This is the web UI. I've had a couple of problems with this. So I go back to the terminal and I launch from here to open another window. And I, I, I uh, put this one away. I don't close it, I just just make it, put it down the bottom. And so here we have FluxGym. So what I'll do, I'll load our images in. So here's our images of all our swoopy buildings. Select the lot. And you just drag them in, drag them in, drop them. There you go. There's all our, all our pictures in FluxGym. And then we can close that now. We need to do uh, sample prompts. So I've written some sample prompts here. We go and the sample prompts uh, just so you can watch the progress of it. Um, a, a few times I've uh, watched the progress and thought, well, I think I'll, well, I think I'll stop because <laughs> it's looking rubbish. Okay, so there's three prompts and you separate each one just with a carriage return. Okay, so we start at the top. We put in what our law is going to be called. This is going to be called swoops. I don't use a trigger word. You can use a trigger word. I don't use one. And here we're looking for about, depending on the LoRa, you can anywhere between 3,000 and 6,000. I find you get better details with the six. Anyway, we're nine, <laughs> too many. So we'll do 12 epochs maybe. Uh, that's a little bit too much. 10 epochs, 5,800, we'll do 11. There we go, 6,380. So, you can adjust the epochs the same as I said earlier with the uh, Suite AI one, exactly the same really. It's, a, it's, a, it's training with the same thing, Koya. So if you want to sample an image, I will have one every 600 steps. That'll give me a picture every 600. Uh, my data set is 1024, so we'll have 1024 in there. And then uh, for this sort of style, I use a single word in the, oh, there it is. I use a single word in the captions. Some people swear by long, complicated captions. I I didn't like. Uh, I think captions. Uh, if you're training on what is in the picture, i.e., the, all the items in it, and maybe the mood, then you want caption. But for a, a basic, you want to make more of the main thing in all of your images. So all of these images have got cities in them, swoopy cities. You really don't need to. I mean, what are you going to catch from Swoopy City each time? And I, I find that it actually tends to ignore the things you capture in slightly. So uh, certainly it does when you're doing people. Anyway, there are varying opinions, and mine isn't necessarily the right one. So this is a bit tedious, but easy enough. Trigger words hardly work in flux in any case, so I only do this out of ritual, really. <laughs> No, I have any real, real need. There we go, they're all in. And uh, what I do find is important to keep on going back and checking that you've done everything. So we've got the name of Laura. We know what we're training with. Uh, you might have to have the smaller model, FP8 maybe, uh, if you want to, if you have less memory. I've got uh, 24, so it's quite a lot. So here's my repeat trains at 10, my epochs, and which adds up to steps. And the important number is the number of steps. Anywhere between three and six thousand is, is good. For very simple concepts, you can do five one two, which speeds it along as well. So down here, right down here, we have advanced options. So we have our seed number, which is obvious really. Now, this is the first important one, the learning rate. I am at the moment using 3E4. You see that? And I'm gonna save every three epochs well, I don't know why I do that, because I only ever use the larger one anyway. Guidance scale, you can leave it alone. Time step sampling, you can leave it alone. The next one you want to do is the next word, dim, which is the Laura rank, which we pay, made 16, and we will again here. So we've got network dim, which is the Laura rank, with the training rate, which is 3E-4. Other than that, you don't need to change anything in here. I do one more thing, which is his flip Org, which means every other step it uh, flips the image left to right. 
and uh, because all my images are, are aren't symmetrical, I, I I think I get some gain on it out of that, but I don't know. And that is literally it. If it goes wrong, it go wrong in the first. Um, one thing you have to do is make sure you have put a caption in every slot, otherwise it'll abort, <laughs> which is a bit annoying. Okay, and then you just click start training, and then you you need to watch the first part of the training because it goes wrong. It'll exit in the first few lines. I, as far as I found it, by the time it's got to this stage, which is it's um, uh, telling you it's using the FV8 checkpoint. Uh, usually by that time, uh, we're all we're all good. So uh, it looks like we're going well. And then uh, every 600, your uh, images will appear in there. And I, I'm not going to keep the video going because I'll run out of hard disk space because it, it's going to take five hours to do this on my 4090 with 24 gigs. Presumably if you've got 16 or 12, which you can train on, it's going to be an all-night job. And as you see now, it's um, clicking away and uh, the process has started. So we will stop the movie there and come back. Okay, so here we are in uh, Comfy. Our Laura's are cooked and loaded. So we've got um, swoops from the civet and swoops that I did in flux train. So we have both of them there. Now, uh, what I've done is I've put a prompt together here, roughly based on the ones that I've tested on. Here we are, future, uh, etc, etc, etc. And when you get a Laura back, you need to test what it does. <laughs> if you're unlucky, it won't do anything. So this is that prompt. Let me get this centre frame. This is that prompt without the Laura. Perfectly nice. But um, Flux's idea of futuristic is a bit, well, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit medieval. <laughs> so, so, so let's see what the Laura does. Uh, we'll do the one I did in Flux first. I'm assuming you know where to put your Lauras in the model directory under Lauras. So let's see what we get. The same seed, same settings. And there we go. A huge difference. So that tells us our Laura is firing on all cylinders. Oh, that's quite funky. And so on. Uh, so let's see um, what the other Laura does. And there we go. Very similar would be the answer. We'll have another seed just for fun. And as I said, I, I, I test over, over 10 or so seeds because um, you might just be unlucky. And a Laura that produces uh, a good image, you know, every four or five seeds is, I think, a pretty good Laura for flux. That's rather nice. Nice mood. So anyway, we see, and we'll have a look at um, the PC version, flux train version. It should be pretty similar. It won't be the same because the uh, training rates were slightly different. In theory, uh, the Suite AI one should be better because the learning rates were being adjusted during the thing. But anyway, I prefer the other one. <laughs> so you can't judge between the Lauras, is what I'm getting at. They're, to me, they look only marginally different, really. And that's about it. I'll put um, a link to one of these Lauras. I'll put it up on Civit so you can try it. And um, the... Training data is there as well, so you can uh, have a go yourself and, uh, and you can try and see if um, captioning improves it or not. I, I, um, I haven't really finished investigating captioning. I, I, might, I did a pre-Raphaelite Laura where there's a lot of content in the image, so you're looking at paintings and they have maidens and knights and horses and forests and, and Lord knows what else. So... I'm going to do a test on that. I've done a uh, Laura without any captions or just a single word caption and I shall, I shall do one with fancy captions and uh, see if I like the result. But for styles generally, uh, so far at least, I have found captions really don't quite um, do what I want. Okay, that's it. I hope that was useful and interesting. And we're all getting slightly wiser, we hope. <laughs> okay, that's all.